Hello and welcome to a new tutorial from Garden of Designs. This is the Red Panda Lovey and it is a free design that you can get from our website in the freebies section. So the first thing we do is prepare our fabric and you will see here I um, used some cotton and some minky to cut uh, two triangles. This is how we do the little blankie for the baby or the kid that's going to take this little friend uh, with him or her to sleep. For this tutorial I have chosen the 5x7 design and I'm also going to prepare some fabric for the head. This is just the fabric for the body. And here you can see they form a perfect square. So uh, here are also the dimensions of the square. So you can uh, make your own with the same uh, dimensions. Next step, we go to the um, machine to make the ears. This is the first thing that uh, we make uh, for each um, design, the accessories, I mean the, the parts before we make the head, the actual head. Here you can see we are uh, tracing on um, stabilizer and uh, now I am adding some uh, minky fabric. We really like to use this fabric. It's very soft and so appropriate for uh, little kids. And uh, now uh, it will do a tack down stitch to keep the fabric in place for the next step and it will also do a placing stitch for the applique that represents the insides of the ears. So here is the placing stitch for the first ear and then it will do the next and I have chosen some um, felt for the ears just to give it um, a different texture. Uh, babies like to feel different textures. It uh, also um, works as a sensory toy if you are doing this kind of stuff. And uh, here you can see the next step is to actually uh, tack down the um, applique fabric for the inner ear. And after this, um, we will cut around and I will leave the bottom uncut. This is uh, better, it's better to leave the bottom uncut uh, so it does not stick out when you attach the ears to the head. So as you can see, I'm cutting around the sides. I'm using a sharp scissor with curved um, blades, if that's the word. You just have to be very patient with this part, with, with those small bits. And now it uh, does the setting stitch around um, the edges of the applique. This is uh, great if you are using, for example, some um, cotton instead of uh, the um, um, felt. And now it uh, stitches some uh, marks that will help you later when you are um, preparing your ears. So these are just some uh, stitches that you will use as uh, some kind of guidelines to help you um, prepare the ears. And now that uh, this part is done, you can just add another piece of fabric. This time you will do it uh, right facing down. Um, I do recommend using some painter's tape uh, to keep everything in place, especially if you're using a single needle machine. And be very careful with your fingers. 
So this is the final stitch for the ears and when this is done I will take uh, all of it out and uh, I will cut out the ears and fit them inside out. As I said, I'm taking them out. I'm being, being very careful here because uh, I'm using the largest hoop from my machine to make a smaller design and I like using the same um, stabilizer for all of the parts. And here you can see I'm cutting around quite close to the stitches but very careful not to actually cut them. And also you need to remove the stabilizer and then you can turn them inside out. And now you're done. See that those little marks, those tell you where to fold the ear and uh, the ear will go to the sewing machine and we like to sew them in place. I will show you in a bit. Here uh, we started with the head, of course with the stitches to show us where to place our fabric and then we place the same minky, of course right side up and then it will do a tack down all around the head so the fabric stays in place and now it starts doing the um, the stitches to show you where the applique fabric will go. So it does the, the nose area and the cheeks and um, those uh, round uh, spots above the eyes. Now that all is done, we I used the um, also minky but you could use cotton or something else with a different texture. I just liked uh, this uh, yellow, light yellow minky. So it stitched the, the um, fabric down and then I'm going to show you uh, two ways of cutting around these um, spaces cutting the fabric. Of course I'm cutting uh, around the spots above the eyes. I like to start with that. And now it's a little out of focus but uh, I did shift the camera. Just wait a second for this. And uh, I will show you. I'm filming alone and sometimes I do not notice that it's outside of the filming area. So now I'm cutting around the nose and I'm going outside and you will see that I do not cut the bottom part. See I left that piece of fabric for the neck. So here you can see um, on the bottom I actually cut out that piece and on the other side I left it there. So it's your choice if you want to cut it or not. And there you can see we do not have a stitch at the bottom and that's fine. It's supposed to be like this. And now for the next uh, appliques uh, it will fill in uh, between the cheek and the nose area. This is why I said uh, if you want to cut uh, the applique fabric there you can cut it. If not, it's going to get covered anyway by uh, the next pieces of uh, fabric that you place over there. And again I like to play with the textures and I used uh, some felt for this part. And now all I have to do is cut around. Be very careful not to cut the stitches, but try to cut as close as you can to the actual um, stitches. So 
and now it's all done I like to use some uh, painters tape to get, get all the fluff away it's easier to clean it now and uh, do embroidery than to embroider and have some fluff stuck over there and here you can see me preparing some uh, water soluble film this goes uh, before doing the uh, face embroidery it's supposed to help uh, with the embroidery as it does not sink into the fabric so we use this for plush fabrics or um, any fabric that's uh, thicker or uh, if uh, it has a texture like uh, the towels for example so I tape down this and get ready for some speed embroidery the next steps are uh, just embroidery the satin stitches around all this part and the eyes and everything else This is almost done and next is going to stitch some placing stitches for the ears and now I'm going to show you how we use the sewing machine to prepare the ears remember those little signs that uh, I showed you well it uh, shows you where you need to fold the ears I'm just searching for those signs yeah I found one so fold the ear a little bit we like to use uh, the sewing machine for this because the ear will stay there and will not move at all. You can use a safety pin, uh, not a safety pin, a, a bobby pin, I think that's what they are called. Anyways, I like to stay away from pins because uh, using the sewing machine gives uh, way better results. So you can see... Um, we have the two ears one is uh, flipped to the left and the other is flipped to the right and now I'm just using the machine to add some stitches to keep it in place as I said I think this is the first time we show this step in a tutorial so uh, I hope this helps you this is how they look and now let's get back to the embroidery machine and attach the ears so we have those black lines that show us where it needs to go and we align the the black line with the uh, bottom of the ear where we have the stitches so i did use black uh, but i do recommend that you use uh, coordinating colors but I used black so you can see it better in the video and if it's not perfect and you do use coordinating colors uh, nobody will notice but if you do use black there's a big risk over here but as I said I just did this to help you see better so you saw how uh, we placed the ears and I checked them for uh, positioning and then I used some uh, painter's tape to stick them in place before the next step that will be to actually stitch them down. Don't worry about um, going through the tape with your needle, nothing will happen and you will be able to remove it at the end watch those fingers okay so this is done and now I'm going to remove the tape and uh, also you may want to remove the um, 
the water soluble uh, film before the ears I just forgot and I'm just doing them now it would have been way easier to take out before uh, I put the ears make sure to clean uh, all the parts and you have if you have small bits remaining you can just use uh, uh, a wet towel to uh, brush it off and I'm adding the fabric for the back using some painter's tape to hold it in place and this will be the final contour for the head And after all this is done, uh, I'm going to cut around the head and flip it inside out. And for the first time, I'm going to actually show you how we sew the triangle and how uh, I use, uh, how I attach the head to the blankie. Of course, there are uh, other ways, but uh, this is my personal preferred method. So uh, yeah, we still have a little <laughs> time here together and I'm going to show you everything so uh, go all around the head with your scissors and make sure to leave some extra fabric for uh, the neck I like to do some uh, slits around so it's uh, easier to turn and then I removed um, as much as I could uh, from the stabilizer. And now what I like to do is push the ear through the hole and use that to take everything out. And then with my fingers, I like to run them around the uh, edge seams and uh, this helps of course I found some more uh, water soluble film in there and uh, now you can see how I am stuffing this I use polyfill to stuff uh, these toys and this is the moment you can add uh, a rattle inside or you can add uh, that little um, air pouch that you can squeeze and it uh, squeaks squeaker <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a word but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about when you squeeze a toy and it makes some noises and I'm using my finger to push the um, the polyfill and then I'm doing this move that I'm showing you now to uh, shape it if it's too soft just add some more polyfill it's all about uh, feeling it and using your uh, your hands to decide what's best so we are at the sewing machine right now and uh, I'm just uh, placing the triangles face to face and I'm using some pins to keep them together and then I'm uh, finding the middle point this is where the head will go so I'm marking that with a pin and also I'm connecting all the um, the end and I'm starting to sew about uh, two inches or five centimeters uh, below the middle line and I'm going all around with a simple stitch you can uh, round the corners if you want if it's easier for you I really like this fabric uh, I think it's so so fun and it also has a, a vintage vibe uh, with all those animals in the colors and everything 
So I just go all around and I will, I'm going to stop uh, about 2 inches uh, before the middle. So it leaves me uh, a gap of uh, about 4 inches or 10 centimeters um, around the middle. So I can turn it inside out and I can place the head uh, where it be belongs. And we're almost done. You can see the pin that shows me where the middle is. So I just showed you with my hands <laughs> how uh, much space you need to leave on a uh, suit. Here I moved the pin, but uh, I was nervous. I would um, stick it into my fingers. Oh, uh, here you can see I'm cutting the corners. This uh, will help you get uh, uh, better results when you turn it inside out. And now you can see the needle kind of sticks out. And I just took a pencil and marked the middle so I can take the pin out. And again, I'm just grabbing the middle and pull it through the hole, just like I did with the ears and uh, when I turned the head. And I'm using my little finger to get in there, but it was not enough, so I grabbed the pencil again with the rubber end and I pushed the corner out. So the blankie is uh, all done now. All I need to do is attach the head. So you can just uh, place it in the middle and do some hand stitching around it if, uh, and you are done. But I uh, do not want to hand stitch it. So I uh, set it in place with a pin. And then I'm going to do a stitch all around. I'm going to start where I, where I left it off on the other side when it was not turned. So I just like to go close to the um, uh, edge. I just needed to add some new thread. Okay, that is done. Not really. Now it's done. <laughs> so let's start sewing. So uh, I'm pressing the head down as, I, as it goes through the machine. So it has some space to go. Be careful here with your fingers and also go slow. And after the head has passed, I just continue I just continued with the stitching all around. So this is one way to do it. If you do not want to do this stitch, you can just um, go ahead and uh, use uh, some hand stitches to uh, place the head where it belongs. Uh, the part I forgot was to change the um, the thread on the bottom. If I wasn't in a hurry, I would have used uh, some uh, light pink for the bottom. And I just went all around. And it's almost done. So I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, I know the, to the instructions for the lovies are very short uh, and it's just a little text, but uh, we have this now and we also have the, uh, the cat tutorial for the lovies. So I hope this helps you in making the, the lovies because really they are all the same and they work by the same principle. So this is... Uh, the final product. This is the cutest toy ever and it's one of our uh, best sellers. I mean the love is. You can go to our website and you can get a set of uh, 50 love designs for only 40 euros. 
Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more tutorials and if you want more help with uh, some of our designs, drop a comment. Tell me what design you would like to uh, have a tutorial and I will try to have it. Bye!